My name is Ruby Gore and I'm a tattoo artist here at Philadelphia Tattoo Collective. I specialize in scientific illustration and like botanical black work. Ever since I was really little, I've been an artist and I wanted to do something where I was going to be drawing and when I was like 15, I told my parents, uh, I, want to, I want to draw and they were like, okay, well that's not a real career, so what are you really going to do? So I went to the Art Institute and specialized in graphic design, marketing, photography, kind of a little bit of everything. Um, and then when I moved up to Oregon in like 2011, I decided to change careers and become a tattoo artist. It was a little easier to get into the industry up there. Um, and I was just so done with graphic design, I couldn't be a slave to the desk anymore. <laughs> I almost didn't want to start tattooing because I hated hurting people. Like it really bothered me that much. I try and create a really different experience for people when they're getting tattooed. I want it to be progressive. Like I have like a pet heating bed that I like turn on for people who are like, I just need to be a little bit warmer or I've got like numbing spray that I'll put on them after we've done the line work. And now I have people really like traveling quite a ways because they were like liking my style and that it's a bonus that they're into, you know, a vegan tattoo. And then everybody else is like just curious and never opposed to it. I have yet to find somebody who's like, oh, I don't want a vegan tattoo. <laughs> so. There's like a couple of key things that I do that are a little bit less traditional. So like the ointment is vegan, um, where most like Vaseline is not, um, or AMD is not. Um, and uh, like the stencil paper and the stencil cream. Um, most, most inks or ma major ink brands are vegan now. I have a to-do list that would make anybody cry and I love it. Like just like kind of getting better at what I do in every way. Like I'm always finding inspiration kind of every which way I go. It's kind of why I like traveling, um, even on like the shittiest trip. I'm like, this is a terrible trip, I'm tired, I want to go home. And then like as I'm on the plane and I'm going home, I'm just like, I'm so glad I did that because I learned this or I met this person or like now I have this new idea to like start on this whole new thing that like a spin-off project or whatever. Let what you love consume you. Um, you know, I don't recommend going on as few hours of sleep as I do, but when you really love something, you just kind of keep going and you lose track of time and you're like, it's four in the morning, I should probably go to bed. Oh wait, hold on one more thing, you know? And like, I have a notepad on me at all times, writing down all these ideas. I never took no for an answer. I was just like, oh, okay, well, I just need to get better and then come back. Learning how to take criticism was the best thing I ever could have done. Art school helped with that a lot, um, but just kind of having a little bit of a tougher outer shell, because uh, the world's going to be shitty regardless, but not caring what they think is probably the best thing I ever did.